So, Pig, starring Nicolas Cage. This will be my non-spoiler review. There's nothing really to go into with respect to spoilers in this film, and uh, I am a little bit melancholy after watching it. It's a fantastic film. Truly a fantastic film. I'm I'm shocked. I mean, look, it's, it's not the cage rage that we're all used to. It was a... It was a really good piece of cinema. Really good piece of cinema. I am absolutely blown away by this film. Uh, and and it's, not, it's not that the plot's particularly groundbreaking. It's just put together in a very, very tightly compact film. Nice, brisk, one hour, 30 minutes, then 90 minute movie. And it gets straight into the action. What well, you can say the action, but at least the narrative action. Because it's not an action movie, but it gets into the narrative action in the first 10 minutes. It's superbly done. It is a superb film. People kept uh, telling me I must watch the trailer and do a reaction to it. Well, I've skipped the trailer. I didn't even watch the trailer. I went straight to the movie. And here's my review. So, oh, wow. Nicolas Cage actually acting again for a change. Uh, I can see why he doesn't want to watch this movie. Uh, he recently did an interview where he came out and said, I hear the movie's great, I hear people love it, but I don't want to watch it. And it, it obviously really struck close to home to him, I would imagine. He plays a, a star chef, a chef that basically run a town, you know, highly highly regarded chef who goes into being a recluse because of some tragedy that clearly occurs uh, and he has a pig for company it's a truffle pig and i know this sounds really funny doesn't it it sounds really dumb but it's not it's like a man and his pig a man and his dog it's the same kind of situation here this pig obviously hunts for truffles and he goes and gets them and he then hands them off to a local, like a, well, a local truffle dealer, someone who goes around a restaurant selling these truffles for quite a high price. And the pig gets stolen. Now, a lot of people will compare this to John Wick. It's not John Wick in any way, shape, or form. The loosest of comparisons barely hold up. The only comparison here is that someone has an animal taken from them in some regard and he goes to get it back that's basically it this film is very well made it's directed by michael sarnofsky someone who i'm not familiar i'm not familiar with them I've, I've never come into contact with any of their movies before but one which will definitely be on my radar the script for this film and how it's been shot and edited together is really tight now all of these key bits of information are not just handed to us. It's not exposition dumped. It is dropped in throughout this film in an expert fashion. Oh, who is he? He's this guy. Oh, right, okay. Why don't people know about him? Well, because of this. And it just slowly unravels itself uh, as, as it reaches its climax, you know? And that's when you go, wow, okay. God damn. This film really does, it hits quite close to, well, I say it hits close to home, but I don't mean, you know, I'm, I can relate to this guy on that level, because I can't, not the story-wise, but I think most people can relate on this level of an animal or a loved one or an animal that's part of the family that, that is, you know, taken from you and you kind of, you know, well, not taken from you, but do you know what I mean? It's that sort of love and affection that you have for either a family member or uh, an animal that undoubtedly becomes a family member. I'm rambling a little bit here, but there's a point. And the point is, is that this film conveys that. And Nicolas Cage, god damn, he conveys that in such a heartfelt way. Such a heartfelt way. This film could have been garbage. And I tell you what, I actually don't think it would have been particularly better with anyone else in the role. This is a great film, right? Mark my words, this is a great film. And it's made great by Nicolas Cage. 
he does a really good job in this film. He is actually acting. This is an, I'm fairly certain he's an Academy Award winner, if I remember rightly. I don't know my Academy history, forgive me. But I'm very much certain he is. And this goes some way to explaining exactly why. You know, he has fallen off the bandwagon. He has fallen into obscurity. He used to be a big... You know, he was essentially... I'm pretty certain he was an A-list actor at one point. And now he's a nobody. And I can see why he doesn't want to watch this film. Because it does hit close to home. To him anyway, in that regard. You know, chef that used to be amazing and just falls into obscurity. Now, that's story-wise, right? The, the story's great. And, and, it, and it's put together, written, very, very, very well. All character motivations are there. Whether you buy them or not is up for your you know your personal opinion but everything's there everyone has their motivation and and i would say it's believable i would say it's believable in that regard anyway it's not it's not so outlandish so hollywoodish that you go oh, roll your eyes it's very very well done now in terms of how this is shot this is shot very very good again Michael Sarnowski, someone I am not familiar with, but someone I want to watch future films from, because he really knows how to put a film together. And he directed Nicolas Cage. Like, Nicolas Cage is notoriously hard to direct. He directed him amazingly well. It's a really sad film. It's a really sad film. And it's put together... I, I am genuinely blown away by Nicolas Cage in this film. God damn. Who'd have thought it? Who'd have thought a film about a pig being taken and Nicolas Cage's washed up chef would be his critical acclaim in the last couple of years? Now, I like Nicolas Cage. I think he plays to his strengths normally and has been doing it pretty well, like Willy's Wonderland, for instance. You know, the sort of Chuck E. Cheese horror film, Five Nights at Freddy's. Great film. Mandy. Great film. He's playing to it to his memeable strength, you know, that he's this kind of cage rage. But this, this come out of nowhere. This is a strong recommendation. Strong recommendation. I don't think anyone's going to be disappointed with this film. Don't go into it expecting John Wick. Don't. It's not that. It's not that at all. It's a heartfelt film and it's very, very well made. If you've seen this film, please do let me know down below because I'd love to hear what everyone else thinks of it. It is so very good. You must watch it the moment you're able to. Strong recommendation, 100%. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. So let me know what you think down below. If you are new here, you stayed this long, so please do hit that subscribe button because you clearly enjoyed the review. Hit that like button on your way out. But thank you all so much, guys. Take care.